I'm Ari from Speechly. Welcome to the tour around Speechly UI components. If you like, you can follow the Figma link provided in the description and copy and paste the components into your own Figma designs. The example app here is about booking a trip. It has a couple of input fields that can be filled either by typing or with speech, for example, by saying from London to Paris to passengers. Let's have a look at these ready made UI components. They are designed to support building voice features to any web app or site. This is push the talk button. It enables the user to turn listening on and off. You can customize the placement, size and appearance, or hide it when it's not needed. Desktop users can control listening by holding a keyboard hotkey. Placing the button here, floating close to the edge of the screen, indicates app-wide speech control. It's also within thumb's reach for mobile use. The user could refer to the field labels to fill the form in any order, for example, to Paris or three passengers. The component can optionally display an intro tip to help the user get started. You can also place the button close to a group of input fields or even inside one field to indicate narrower scope of speech control. An example would be a single search field you can talk to. Once you get the user talking, it's a good idea to let the user know what's happening and whether he or she was correctly understood by the app. You have a couple of ready-made options for that. First, if your use case is a really simple one, like entering text in the search field, you might not need a separate feedback component at all. Showing the spoken input in the relevant input field is enough. The second option is to use the ready-made Big Transcript Overlay component that is momentarily displayed when the app is in the listening state. It's useful if spoken commands control multiple input fields or app features. It can also provide immediate feedback if the response to the command is not visible otherwise. This part of the component shows if the app hears you right. The written transcript of the spoken words is shown here, with entity or keyword highlighting. And finally, a confirmation checkmark appears here when the app has responded to the voice command. The third option is the transcript drawer, which slides down from the top of the screen when the app is listening. It shows the same information as big transcript, plus some example phrases to help the user get started. As a summary, Speechly enables you to control any app feature with voice, ranging from data entry, like in this example, to search, filtering the search results, and accessing features with spoken natural language. If you use Speechless ready-made UI components in your designs, there's a straightforward path for developers to implement the voice features either by using Speechless web components or React NPM packages. If you want to know more, a good starting point is docs.speechly.com. Happy hacking and doodling!